Bemidji's Concordia Language Villages opens its doors to the public twice a year in celebration of the beauty of language. International Days is a gathering of past villagers, family members and staff. Intern Josie Spry got an inside taste of what it's like to be around the world in one spot for this week's Community Spotlight. Celebration through song as well as through food. This is to welcome the whole community. Um, we, well, it's um, all for all of Minnesota. We welcome people from different states as well. Anybody who wants to come can come. It takes a lot of work to put together just this one day event. As soon as one international day is over, you start planning for the next one. And it's a great effort with staff who have experienced the language villages as a villager and often as staff members as well. <laughs> We do everything logistically wise, so tents, um, chairs, food, what's going to be on the menu, um, where villages are going to parade from. It's no wonder why Concordia language villages attract a large crowd every year. I think people who come here obviously are interested in learning uh, uh, about other parts of the world, learning different languages, they think that's cool, I think that's cool. And you can jump into different cultures of the world in one place. Food from all different cultures all over the world. Um, they should expect singing and chanting in the language. They should expect soccer. No perdemos demasiado tiempo. Although the games and the food are the main attraction, there's more behind this event. It isn't just fun and games, there's real content, there's real issues that get discussed. Concordia's mission is to introduce people to the larger world, which is simple to do at International Days. We have a thousand people, ages, probably teenagers primarily, who uh, have bought into that, who understand that it's important uh, to, to understand other parts of the world, uh, to, to highlight that and to show that it's not necessarily just sitting in a classroom learning that or having to go abroad, but it can happen right here. Organizers hope their mission will be put to heart. I keep on coming back because I find it to be a second home and I find it to be the place where I'm most welcome. For this week's Community Spotlight, intern Josie Spry, Lakeland News. The day-long event typically brings in 5,000 people from across the nation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.